Hi everyone, this is Michelle and I will be showing you how to do a vampire look on GIMP. Um, I will be using Selena Gomez's picture and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our layers box and we're going to click, right click on it and we're going to go all the way to new layer. We're going to make sure it's a transparency layer. We're going to click OK. We're going to set the mode to saturation. Saturation and sorry, we're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna get a paintbrush. We're gonna get a white color. And we're gonna click OK. We're gonna get the fuzzy brush, circle fuzzy number 19 or any other one that you want. And we're going to be coloring in, coloring in. Um, sorry, coloring in the inside of her face so if this thing works okay we're gonna fix our brush size and we're going to make it rather big for the big spaces so we finish rather fastly since I only have a small amount of time on the computer today and we're going to be coloring in the picture the, the skin parts <laughs> um, or rather her face wherever a white or wherever a vampire would be white we're not going to color in the eyes because it'll take too long to delete it or to erase it but we're going to try our best not to get as much as possible not as um as much as we can provoke from getting on the parts where we all want it to be white. Um, so we're going to go up here, we're going to color it in her whole head. Wherever the skin is showing, you have to color it in. Like right here. Um, like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be. Hold on, please, while I get the phone. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, that was my mom calling. Um, we're going to keep going and we're going to get a smaller brush for this area of the eye. That way we can provoke from drawing on the eye itself or in the eye. Okay, and we're just going to keep coloring in. Sorry. And I'm going to have to redo that because. I forgot that I can't color it in right there. Okay, we're gonna be very gently doing this. I'm sorry this is taking too long. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just had to come out as good as possible so it it can seem like a real vampire or semi-real vampire. We're gonna move this over here. We're gonna do her show her arm. So we can get this over with. Um, with this method, you don't have to use paths to or anything. But if you want to, it will take a little longer to set it up. But it would be a lot more easier to handle the brush. And that way you're not worried about, oh, I messed up on the eye. Or, oh, I can't seem to get only the outside of the eye and not the inside. So that's a good way to do that if you're a beginner on GIMP. Um, the way I would do it is I would get the pass tool and just outline the whole face around the eyes, around the eyebrows, and around the mouth so you don't color it in, and around the clothes right there for this area. Um, but that's just how I would do it. If you see any other good methods, that's good. Um, you can use freestyle, the free selecting tool, and you can use that and just outline the whole thing. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to get our eraser and we're going to be erasing the excess parts. Such as if you've messed up on the eye, you can erase the eye or the inside of the eye. And if you messed up on the lips, you can fix the lips so that they're not colored in with white. We're going to change the saturation on here so I can tell where the white part is real quick. Oh, sorry about that. And I am 
really tired right now, so that's why I keep messing up. So I'm sorry about that, and my voice is also going away. So bear with me. I'm trying to make this as slow as possible, or as fast as possible. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure that that's where her mouth is. Okay, pretty much that's all that I messed up on, except for that, the hair part. And then I'm going to take a big brush for that. That's a rather big brush. Okay, now we're just going to go down here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to, um, I'm just trying to fix this bit. We're going to be going to make it zoom out, and we're going to be going to our saturation, and we're going to change it to about 63.3, uh, and if you don't like it, how wide it is, you can make it a little li less wider. If you do it all the way to zero, it's the normal color of her. And if you want her to do just look a bit pale and not too much pale, you can leave it at 55.1. But the whole Vampire of the Twilight theme thing would be about 65.3. And that's just how it looks, and there she is, she's a vampire. I will be making a new video, or another video, on how to change the eye color so it looks like she's a real vampire. So please stay tuned, and I will be doing that video next. So. Thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and request anything that you want me to do on on GIMP. Or if you have any questions, please comment or message me, and I will be I will be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.